tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. Dropping knowledge in the studio, you already know. That one, last thing. Yeah, that that was crazy though. Then, yeah, that I... one was crazy, man. That the the one, the little one, the one about little non X and little boozy, man. That junk is. Oh my, oh my God, I forgot we we we, we, we recorded. We was recording. Go ahead, yeah, 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 yeah. I just, you know, I got a little bit overzealous and just pressed that record button. Man, let's get it. Let's <laughs> yeah, let's get, get it. it man. Man. Go ahead. Okay. Um, man, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is yeah. These, these are your friendly neighbors in, in your neighborhood. <laughs> you know, what I mean, you, you got me, Prince Kimi, and you got my best friend here, my brother from another mother. I'm gonna allow him to do some stuff. Why you why you say Prince Kimi? <laughs> you know the girls. You know the girls, they changed the name for you. They want to make it a little bit softer. Kimi. <laughs> and this is your man. This, this is your man, Roddy Ron. Hey, I can I think you already know. We was already talking about it with Record, but about the uh little little not X working with little boozy. Now here's the thing, Haki, because you are an artist. You already know that you are an artist. Yeah. Record your record's out now. People need to people need to hit people need to hit that link. That record is fire. Fire, but, fire. Fire, fire. But the thing about little not X. He said he claimed that he's working with Little Boozy. However, Little Boozy said he's not working with him, and that he's just clouting, and he's trolling, and and you already know Little Nas X is a homosexual ma- ma- man, and Little Boozy, you know, is a heterosexual man. So I was gonna ask you, do you kind of do you kind of feel or do you think the reason why Little Boozy don't want to work with Little Nas X is because he's gay? A hundred percent is because he's gay. Because here's the thing. That? Um, us as heterosexual men, there's an image we have to portray, and uh-huh. being with some, being around a feminine male or an emasculating male makes us look emasculate. You feel me, Zan? Or it makes us, especially Labusi, live a thug lifestyle, and that, and that thug lifestyle, mind you, ladies and gentlemen, this is my opinion. Don't crucify me. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, in a thug lifestyle, they're very homophobic. You feel me? And and I I want to say homophobic. I'm going to say this, but you could tell that Lil Nas X is trolling because he just want to get Boosie mad and get him that. But here's the funny thing is with that. I wouldn't, um, I don't have a problem working with gay people or, you know what I mean? Cause I'm not a thug. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't care about what the image we want to interview gay people. You feel me? Mm. And, and trans and stuff like that. Cause that, you know what I mean? We want to bring different type of content. But the way little Nas is going about it, he's going about it disrespectfully. That man don't fuck with you. He don't fuck with him. You don't have to keep bringing that man in your business. You feel me? But but then my, my question to you, especially when you know the industry is small. Yeah. And you, know, you met we met some rappers that are all in there. We interviewed them as well, and yeah. also the female as well. You know, of all of them. Small. So for for little Nas X, do you think he's really trolling, or he's telling the truth? And Boozy don't want to to claim that hey, he is working with him. Because he might get disowned by the the um, the gangster community. No, he's trolling because Boozy has stated his thing. For, here's the thing, but the funny thing is Boozy doesn't even have a problem with gay people. His role manager is a trans person. Uh-huh. I just think that the way Little Nas is trolling because he doesn't like Boozy's opinion about gay people. Everybody can have an opinion about it. We live in America. This yeah. is the issue that I got with a lot of y'all. Certain groups, you can't speak about them because they'll cancel you or it's an issue. But they can talk about black people all day. You know that? Right, right. They can talk about, listen, I don't want to mention these other people's name, but you know the people that in that little country over there, in the Far East, who mm. is the only, the only country that's not Muslim, that are wreaking havoc over there? You know that country I'm talking about? No. You know what I'm talking about. The ones, those people that live with they got the little curly hair that go down the, their cheeks and they wear the top hats, the big hats. Oh, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, no, let's not let's not say their yeah. name. We okay. mention their name, they'll cancel us tomorrow. We just say okay. one little thing they'll say us tomorrow. So now here's the thing. Boosie had some opinions about little Nas X and the way he going about it. I didn't think they was wrong. He is a man. He has an opinion. You supposed to be an artist for kids and you around here prancing around and so you promoting that lifestyle to kids that are not they might think, hey, I might want to be gay. I'm not saying that's an issue. So now, after that happens, you have an issue with what Boosie said. Boosie left you alone. He said, hey, live your life. Let me do nothing. You still playing because you mad because you don't want you want everybody to agree with what you live with. Here's the issue I got with that. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm listening. There's certain pastors down the Bible belt who don't rock with you, Lil Nas X. 
I don't hear him talk. Of, listen, it's some white boys past that Mason Dixon line in Mississippi, Alabama, Texas, certain white boys where they do not support. They, they do not support homosexuals or pedophiles. They they willing to lynch you. They don't nobody don't say nothing about them. But since Boosie is black and he's ghetto, we can crucify him. But America, you can have any opinion you want. Hey, you could be a white boy and call me an N word. I won't. This is America. Just be ready for when what comes after that. You feel me? But the thing, but the thing about um, the thing only thing about little Boozy, the reason why he's getting a lot of criticism and a lot of uh, um, talking about he's homophobic is because he was saying how, and it's coming. I'm not gonna say it here because it's very graphic. Yeah. He was talking about how you hate yourself. Um, uh, stop trolling me. You know, you, you know the word you your big favorite. You was gone and and go suck something. You already know what he meant. So. That's why he's getting a lot of backlash. Okay, now, now he is wrong for that. So he did say some homophobic slurs, and people didn't like that. Yeah, he is wrong for that. Boosie should have been man enough to just allow him to talk and just go about his business. But you know, Boosie, you know, Boosie, Boosie's very outspoken. We never met him yet. You know, hopefully, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, one day we'll, we'll, we'll get the we'll interview him. Interview him. Yeah, but um, it, you know, he's very outspoken. He, he tell you how it is, like you said. He tell you how it is. Boosie's a man's man. He gonna tell you how it is. He say, "Hey, don't come over here playing with that." You know. So you say little Nas X is trolling, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Have you even heard little Nas X record? Never listened to one, not one. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, his records are really pretty good. I listened to some of his tracks. I don't listen to all of them, but when one of his tracks came out, I listened to it. His record is really good. A lot of people in the industry get his man like he's very talented. Rather, you know, of course, it's his lifestyle, but his but the music itself is very talented. So I think well, people are working with him that are in it. He's just now making himself known because I don't think you don't want to get the backlash like, oh, you this and that and this and that. So I mean, uh, go ahead. No, you're right. I said, I just, I just, I, I never, I didn't care for him. And you had, um, and now that you have people in the industry, they say they were truly sad and bad, um, the comment made to Little Non X because you know that community is a very strong community, the LGBT Q community. It's a very strong community, so they really stand behind their people. It's the same thing about um the David Chappelle situation. Same yeah. thing. David Chappelle said a funny joke, you know, a skit, very funny. You know, people loved it, but that community didn't like it, and now they want to shut them down. And I think, yeah. and I and I think we live in a society today. They shouldn't be able to shut people down just because of their opinion or no. their cultural lifestyle. This is America, freedom of speech. This the problem that I have. Like that's why I say it's two Americas, bro. Yeah. They get to say something bad about black people every day. Even those people on the other side, they do that. But as soon as you mention those two groups, the alphabet people and the people with the with the black hats, it's an issue now. It's you keep your it. mouth closed. Because Man. They, 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 pretty much that's what it is. You keep your mouth closed. Yeah, it's an issue now. Oh, keep your name out of our mouths. Then, okay, keep your name out of your mouths. But no, y'all can't because we made it socially accepted to talk negative about black people but we can't talk negative about other people. This is America. Yep. This is America. America, freedom of speech. You can be as hateful as you want. Just don't touch nobody. Am mm -hmm. I wrong, Ron? You're telling the truth. You can be as hateful as you want. Just don't touch nobody. That's what America teaches you. You can speak as much hate as you want. You can't touch nobody. As much hate they talk about black people, black people don't never touch them. So when these people start having opinions about this and that, we they pick and choose who they want to be mad with. Mm. You remember what Chick Fil A had told them? <laughs> oh, okay. And white people did white people stop eating Chick Fil A? Nope. The alphabet boys could the alpha the alphabet people couldn't stop Chick Fil A. That's facts though. That's facts. You speak it facts though. Yeah, right? come on, man. Um, but do you think um society should be on um, should the industry be more open to the gay community because it seems like now because remember the, especially the hip hop community you know it's a lot of heterosexual male. However, um, however, this is this thing. However, you hear stories that some of them be on a download. So I'm like, some of you guys be on a download. Like you can hear some of these guys be on a download. So I'm like, why are you upset if somebody want to work with you that is homosexual? Yeah, here's the thing. I believe in America. Just like this. Uh -huh. Listen, you know how there's certain neighborhoods, certain people don't want you to move into because you don't identify with what that is. Facts. I, yes. I, I believe the industry should be just how they want to do it. Certain rappers don't want to work with you because you gay. That's just on them. But you can't be mad about it. 
<laughs> that's true, though. That's true. Yeah. This is America. We have, listen, why do you think there's a Chinatown? There's a little Italy. There's this and that. You don't think those are racist? Yeah. You, 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 if we want to be real technical, it, it, you got towns that are back themselves. Black people don't got a little African town. No. America allows you to live where you want to live, create what you want to create, and, create and, it. And, and tell you who you want and want to live with around you. If you right. go to a, if you go to a building in New York and it's filled with white people, you're the only black person there. They can pick and choose if they want to be, you. They want you to be there. They have every right to. Uh -huh. So if Boosie doesn't want to work with gay people because he doesn't want to be around gay people, he has the right to. It's America. This is not uh -huh. Sudan. This is not Afghanistan. The, you, listen, look what they're going on in Afghanistan right there. And ninety something thousand people left. They don't want. Listen, you can't wear no short skirts. You're going to cover up your hair. They don't like gay people over there. Do you see anybody saying anything? No, because they remember because they're not United States. United States pretty much the land of freedom. I was like, I love the United States. I love, love it, it too. Listen, I love it too. And I love me a good racist white boy because I know who I got to know who my enemy is. America yeah. allow you to be who you want to be. So that's why I say they say you want to cancel Boosie. Boosie been like this forever. But here's the funny thing. It doesn't affect Boosie because Boosie get his own money. This is why I support. This is the certain this is the certain culture of black people who still support Boosie. There's a group of black people that still love Boosie no matter what he said because they agree with what he said. Yeah, I'll tell you, Boosie's a man's man. I don't know. I'll tell you. Oh, that. yeah. Boosie's alpha. A man's man. Yeah, alpha man. Uh, listen, yeah. he, he he's the version of a black man we remember growing up in the city. Correct. He the one like man, yo man. He the one that slap you in your head, go out of mind. That, Listen, I would say he's a man's man. All his kids are raised well. His daughters very respectful. I've never seen none of his daughters with anything sexual. I've mm. never seen any of his daughters disrespect themselves. You tell me, you have you he he want to raise his kids the way he want to raise his kids. His daughters and a student. His daughters and his kids are a student. You see. Those are things they don't promote. They only promote the bad side. That's see, that's social media for you. His social daughter's only porn, but it's the bad side. Go ahead. Listen, this is a ghetto guy who probably didn't finish high school, who raised his kids to be productive citizens. His son Tootie Wow, he just had a he just had a baby, but he just had a baby. But the them kids are taken care of. I don't I don't understand why people are mad about it. this. Is America? Uh, uh, I align with certain things Boosie say. Cause he's an old, he's like them old Southern daddies that we know. Uh -huh. So that's why I'll say like, Hey, Hey, little Nas X, live your life, make your money. You got the white community, leave Boosie and the, leave Busey in a certain black community that supports him. Let them live their life. Stop mentioning that man name. That doesn't make him homophobic. Cause he doesn't want to work with you. You trolling. Yeah. Stop the trolling. I agree. Yeah. I'm I talking agree. about, listen, Boosie's the only black man we ever seen speak so candidly like that. Listen, he has this kid. Listen, I got to keep talking about it. Just like a lot of people don't like Charleston White, but the people you don't like got their kids with them every day. Does that make sense, Ronnie? No. Boosie has his kids with him every day. They live in the damn near mansion. His kids no. never been arrested. His kids never been arrested. They, they, they never even, I've never even heard them even curse like that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So I don't know what's the we're talking bad about. He made an opinion about something and we are judging him like he's homophobic. I don't know where you see that. at. That's what I'm telling America. Leave that man alone. <laughs> I'm being real. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Think about that, bro. Imagine somebody opposing that. Imagine somebody. Imagine somebody going to your nieces and nephews, your sister's kids and say that, hey, do you feel like you're gay? <laughs> 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 I give you need to stop, man. You, you know, for stop. real. Listen, listen. I got people who work in um, you know, the twin sister work in school, and she came to me one day and say that oh, we we have to address the kids by their pronouns, what they identify. Well, I say what that mean. Oh, if a girl says she's a him, we got to call her him or they or her. And I'm like, no, no, that's real. That's real. That's today's society. Yep, and you cannot discriminate. I was like, I, I, Ron, and then I was I was shocked to hear that. Are you for real? So I got to call a little girl a him. You know how detrimental and dangerous that is to them? Because let me tell you something. The world ain't always peaches and cream. Kids who grew up in different houses are not going to understand that. They was like, oh, why are you gay? Uh -huh. You potentially going to end up having girls get raped. On You see, I'm going to have to cut that out. Hello? Yeah, I'm listening. Grape. 
you potentially going to get boys to get bullied and jump. If they, you have to separate those two kids and not try to force one lifestyle on one person. You feel me? Uh-huh. You can't. So, and this is this is where I, I feel like Boosie is trying to say, like, you want to force me to like what you're doing when I don't have to. He has money. You both have money. I can both live with the way nobody's saying that to the Muslims in America or the Buddhists and all that. You don't see them running around here um, um, accepting accepting gay people. Uh-huh. Do you see do, do you see any gay Muslims? Nope. <laughs> if it's there, you, if it's there, I remember they're not gonna promote it. No. No, especially they won't not, promote it. Especially not in no culture. No. They're not Sharia, listen, and, and, and don't quote me on this. People don't kill me when I say that. I don't think Sharia law even supports that. No, I do not. Remember, that's that one issue they have right now. Um, over there in the, in the over there in the Eastern culture, that that's what they have right now. Um, they don't play that, and that's Sharia law. They do not play that. You know, you get what I'm saying? I would say we live in America. America, America, America is America is America is, is a wonderful land because it allows people to be free to express themselves. And to yeah. me, if someone holds a tie to opinion, they should hold a tie to their opinion. I agree with you, Ron, but they shouldn't be forcing their opinions on other people. That's the issue. Yeah. I never get mad when somebody don't like me. I never get mad when a group of people say you can't live over here because you want to know why I say this America. There's other places I can go move and feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Maybe one day they'll get out of their mindset and say, hey, you want to come have a bagel here? We can. Because let me tell you something. Everybody going to hatred. America teaches hatred. America is mm -hmm. built, built on hatred. A lot of people don't like to hear that. America is built on hatred and bloodshed and bullets. <laughs> <laughs> that, that true. It's true, though. <laughs> Listen. Listen, listen, prior before they prior before they went to get slaves, they massacred the Indian, massacred, raped. Listen, you remember when we was kids in, in, in um, Atapala, um Elementary or something? They had that uh -huh. book we had to read, The Trail of Tears. <laughs> Bro, I was traumatized. I was traumatized when I heard that. I say I thought slavery was bad when I say The Trail of Tears. Uh-huh. And look what they did to the Indians. They moved them. They moved the Indians to places where you can't even get no water or nothing like that. Reservations where it's damn near nothing out there, but liquor stores. Mm -hmm. Tell me if I'm, stop me when I'm wrong. You're not wrong. That's why I'm not stopping. You. Stop I me when I'm wrong. You see what I'm saying? That, that that's what I'm saying. So I'm talking about when you start to question this and that. Like, what about the Indians? You think it's racist to put them there when this is their actual their land? They should be scattered all over the place. Yep. I'm not gonna be playing that BS. They man. don't know, man. That's why I say the alphabet people, they got money. That's why they, they're able to impose their opinion on other people and don't want people to live what they want to live. No, you can't impose your life on other people. You see, the Indians ain't trying to have us smoking pe peace pipes and shit and run around here dancing. They living their life. We letting them allow them to live their life. We go, we hang, we chill. We say, oh, they doing. And they say, hey, I don't want you to date my Indian daughter. I want her to be pure. I said, no pressure. Mm hmm. Do we see we complain, Ron? Nope. When certain white boys was like, hey, I don't want you to date. You cool. You cool, Hakeem. Kimi, I like you. I like how you can run fast, but I don't want you to have sex with my daughter because I don't want our, her blood to be diluted. I said, no pressure, John. Yeah. He said, no fact. offense. You see no offense? He said, no offense. I don't want you to think I don't want black. Said, I just got a certain way I like to live. I said, John, it's America. It's John, America. Yep. It's America. Because I probably don't want you to touch my beautiful black daughter as well. No pressure. We we understand each other. Hey, let's go have a beer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. Man, you speaking in facts, man. You feel I'm trying facts. to say? Hey, this is America. Live the way you want to live. This is what this is what um, Dave Chappelle was trying to oppose. Stop stomping down on our people when we say something. That, that, that say that's true, man. I was like, man, you you speaking in facts today. And I hope people I, I, and I hope people can see that. You know what I'm saying? Like you're yeah. fact, because yeah. people are time to their own opinion, but the culture we live in today is like whatever they say, we believe. Basically, and Bougie was upset about the whole situation because he's saying he's not working with him. And you know, I, like I, I would you, I believe he's not working with him. No, I was just wanting your opinion about the whole situation because you know, you you know, you're an artist. Listen, and I follow Bougie. Bougie has not even mentioned that man's name until Little Nas X say something. You ain't hear nothing Bougie said about him. He left him alone. Mm -hmm. That's why I say stop playing with people like that, bro. It's the same way where you had a lot of these the alphabet people 
who be dating men and don't tell them that they're men and and then then they get mad when you get the you get the reaction or when men say you a what mm. they say you know what i'm saying and i i don't see women running around here being mad about something because this is just the way it is these people got money so all i'm saying is this little Nas X, leave boosie alone leave that good black man alone that great father that prime example of a southern man alone you talking about you talking about he has all these kids and none of them went to jail you talking about he has a daughter that's over 18 and and, 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 and no teen prep come on man leave that man alone let him live his life that's all i gotta say Facts. Me, me um um little no you know like i said he he has good mu- good music out yeah you know and now that he has to understand too someone don't want to work with you they just don't want to work with you. That's yeah. it. Don't force somebody. Like, that was a, this is like a, a testament of what um, black people got to understand something with this, this situation here. If someone don't like you, don't force them to like you. Work with somebody that do like you or someone that do appreciate you and then you do your thing. So if black people can understand that whole concept with Lil Nas and little Boozy, they can see that. Boozy don't like Lil Nas as you can. You don't like him. Yeah. So I'm like, if you don't like you, don't force him. Don't force him to like you. Preach. And that's my only issue with that community. That community is forcing people to like him for the pe- for people that don't like you. They just don't like you. And you already know. That being said, KR Culture Radio. We out. Peace, man. I just appreciate y'all just listening. Stay tuned for the next episode.